Hello everyone and welcome back. For today's video, we are going to share 5 common composition errors students make. Firstly, the synthesis and transformation error, which many students may know as SNT. Many students like to show off by writing sentences that are lengthy, then end up becoming run-on sentences. This could affect your language marks and you get you penalised. So, how should you avoid it? You should rarely have more than two connectors in every sentence. Next, always read through your answers and think whether the sentence structure is wrong. For example, I really enjoy eating fruits like strawberries and blueberries and apples and oranges. How do you make this sentence structure correct? Change the end to commas, except for the last end. So, it should go like, I really enjoy eating fruits like strawberries, blueberries, apples and oranges. Remember, a good composition is a combination of short and long sentences. The second error that you need to look out for is writing too much. Using a good line of dialogue can make a story come to life. However, a lot of students like to write endless lines of dialogue. Let's say I'm writing of three boys finding a snake. Guys, look, that's a king cobra. We finally found one, James shouted. Whoa, it looks so cool, Harry exclaimed. I'm gonna get the net to catch it, Parker said. Doesn't this feel like there's too much dialogue? Use a simple strategy called show, don't tell. You must describe the thoughts on the characters' faces and use actions to show the audience what they're doing. For example, guys, look, that's a king cobra. We finally found one, James shouted. Harry's mouth was wide again. His legs stood rooted to the ground in excitement. Without hesitation, Parker took out a net and stood in position. Instead of using too much dialogue, we used actions to convey what the three boys did when they first saw a king cobra. This makes us for a better story that is full of descriptions. The third common mistake that students make is not making use of the picture they have. The pictures are important to the story and thus should play a big role and must be mentioned in more than one paragraph of your composition. For example, if one of the pictures is a toy car, ensure that you talk about the toy car in every one to two paragraphs. Do not just write it out once and then refer to it as it or toy. You must specifically say out, my childhood toy car, etc. if you want to score well in compositions. You can even describe its colour or the brand of the car too. Next, mistake number four is that your conclusion is not explained in detail. Whenever you finish off your conclusion, you have to reread and question yourself whether you have properly explained it. Students usually provide a very general lesson learnt. For example, after this incident, I learnt to be understanding. But the examiner will question your paper. For giving in what way? So, in order to explain more, you could add on. I decided not to jump to conclusions anymore and find out more before assuming. Just a more detailed elaboration like this could really help your marks. Finally, the fifth common mistake that students make is not paying attention to the topic. Some common examination topics include emotions to bring out the story, such as an unforgettable experience or a surprise. So, you need to use one technique to do three things. 1. Use a strong word to describe their emotion. 2. Describe how they felt in the inside and outside. For example, if the story is about an incident you regret, a stronger word instead of using regret you could use would be remorseful. To show how you felt inside, we can say, I wanted to eat my heart out. Lastly, to show how I felt on the outside, we can say, as I exited the school, I looked down and avoided eye contact with anyone, hoping nobody would recognize me. Thus, we are able to then show how regretful I truly was. That's all, I hope this video has helped. Goodbye!